Hey, my name is Derek and I'm with Christian Student Fellowship and we've been talking a lot about what it means to know God, to obey God, and then to love God. And so last time we talked about how do we know God and what does that really mean to know God? And so this time we're going to talk about obedience. What does it mean to really obey God? The Apostle Paul, he tells us that it is by grace that we have been saved. It's not by our own works. It's by nothing that we can do. It's not by obedience. So what does that mean? Does that mean that we don't have to obey anymore and that what we do really doesn't matter, that we can do what we want? Well, not exactly. So you see, God, God first creates the world, right? And, and it's empty, but, but it's good. Uh, but, but God doesn't just leave the world empty. He also puts us inside of the world, in the middle of the world. And that's very good. And so maybe he creates aliens too. We don't know. But what does it mean to obey God now in the world? You hear that phrase, in the world, not of the world. What does that mean to really obey God in the world? You see, God gives us some guidelines. He gives us some ideas of what it means to love Him and to obey Him. And those things are good. Those commands are good. And when we follow those, we see that we're living the best life now. But sometimes it can be tricky. How do we do it? Like we talked about last time, knowing God, when we know Him, when we read Scripture, when we pray, when we grow in intimacy with Him, our faith grows. And when we do that, our obedience naturally grows as well. This is what I love about this picture, is it shows us how we naturally obey God. It's a joy for us to obey. It's not a work. It's not a burden. It's something that we get to do. We get to obey. And it's not just one part of our lives. It's not just, I'm going to obey in, in my relationship. We're also going to obey in work. We're also going to obey at school. We're also going to obey God in our sexuality. And everything that we do, obedience just explodes out of us. It is the natural reaction for a Christian. And so the beautiful part about this is whenever we're all doing this together, as the body of Christ, as the church, whenever we're all obeying and it's natural and we enjoy it, we're changing the world quite literally. And when we are doing that and we're changing the world, other people get to come in and get to know God and get to obey God and get to love God. And that really is a beautiful thing.